Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Welcome back to MPSP channel Now it's time for mathematic lesson with me, Mandina In this lesson, for 7th grade, I will explain about probability and statistics In this video, I will explain two examples of problem solving and then you have two, three uh, exercise about statistics and probability. Let's start now. Probability and statistics. What is probability and statistics? Directly for example number one. The functioning time of 500 light bulb was tested and the results obtained are given in the following table. That is a table. There are two rows, functioning time and number of bulbs. For example, 40 hours. There are 15 bulbs, and then 50 hours, there are 45 bulbs, 60 hours, there are 440 bulbs, 70 hours, there are 445 bulbs, uh, 80 hours, uh, there are 85 bulbs, 90 hours, there are 50 bulbs, and then 100 hours, there are 20 if a bulb is selected at random, what is the probability that the function time of the bulb is 50 hours, 100 hours, and then 70 or more hours? Point B. Janet has three bulbs from his bed, and all three lessons for 55 hours. She concludes that most of the bulbs have a functioning time of less than or equal to 60 hours. Is she correct in making that conclusion? Okay. How to solve this problem for number one? Look at this explanation. Number one, about experimental probability. Experimental probability can be determined from past result or observation. The rule or the formula of probability is equal to number of times this event occurred divided by total number of times. Okay, look at this two table. Okay. If you find probability uh, 40 hours until 90 hours. Look at this. Look at this example. Probability 40 hours. Okay. The nominator is the number of events occurred. In 40 hours, okay. the number of bulbs is 15. So, the nominator of the probability is 15. Denominator, the total number of the bulbs. So you must uh, addition the number of bulbs from 40 hours until 100 hours. 15 plus 45 plus 140 plus 145 plus 85 plus 50 plus 20. So, the result is the total number of bulbs is 5. Okay. The, fra the fraction okay, can be simplified. The nominator and denominator divided by 5. So, the probability in 40 hours is 3 over 100. Same with 40 hours, 50 hours. The number of bulbs is 50 hour is 45. So, the denominator is the probability of 50 hour is 45. And the denominator is 500. Okay? 
can be simplified divided by nominator and denominator with five. So the result is nine over one hundred. Okay, then this way from sixty hour to one hundred hours. Okay. Point A. Probability is fifty hour. Okay, the answer is. 9 over 100 probability in 500 in 100 hour okay. the number of bulbs in 100 hour is 20 bulbs so the nominator in 500 100 hour is 20 and the nominator is the number of the total number of bulbs is 500 okay okay uh, can you simplify with divided by 20? So this is 1 over 25. Okay. The probability in 70 or more hours. If you find the probability in 70 or more hours, so you must addition the probability from 70 hours until 100 hours. So you add 70, probability in 70 hours. 80 hour, 90 hour, and 100 hour. In 70 hour, you find 29 over 100. In 80 hour, 70, 17 over 100. And the 90 hour, 1 over 10. And then the last in 100 hour, in 1 over 20. If you total, 70 or more hours, the total is 6 over 10. Okay, point B. There is a statement from Janet. Janet tested 3 bulbs from this grid and all 3 lasted for 55 hours. She concludes that the most of the bulbs have a functioning time of less than or equal to 60 hours. Is that correct? Is he correct in making that conclusion? For proven that the statement Janet is true or false, you divide it by probability in two sections. The first, probability in 70 or more hours, and then the probability less than or equal to 60 hours. In probability 60 or more hours, you must addition from 60 the probability in 60 until 100 hour you can uh, you find the result is 6 over 10 or 0 0.6 in probability less than or equal to 60 hour okay, you must addition between 40 hour 50 hour and 60 hour and the result is 4 over 0, 4 over 10 or 0 0.4 okay. Based on the explanation Bob, Janet concluded that the most the bulb has a function time of less than or equal to 60 hours is not correct. Why? Because based on the experimental probability 70 or more hours more than the probability less than or equal to 60 hours in the probability in 60 or more hours you have the value is 0 0.6 okay. in the probability less than or equal to 60 hours is 0 0.5 0 0.4 so probability 70 or more hours more than the probability less than or equal to 60 hours number 2 complete each frequency distribution table This uh, tabel is group data. The equation, the equation determine the mean and mode. What is mean? What mean is the average. Uh, and then mode is the mode or model class is given by the class interval with the highest frequency. Okay, look at this. First, complete each frequency distribution table. Okay. 
if you find the mean of the table or test the group data, first you find the midpoint from x. Okay. There are one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five, six. There are six class interval. You must find each class interval. You find the midpoint. Take the average of the n to n value of the class interval. For example, in the first class interval is zero until nine. Okay. There are two n value is zero until nine. So the average is zero plus nine divided by two. Okay. And the value is four point. The second class is 10 until 19. The midpoint is 10 plus 19 divided by 2. And the value is 14.5. The third class is 20 until 29. So, the midpoint is 20 plus 29 divided by 2. And then the result is 24.5. Same for the other class. Next. Frequency or N. You must uh, calculate the total of frequency until the first class until the last class. And then the value of N is 115. 10 plus 20 plus 30 plus 40 plus 10 plus 5. So the result is 150. Okay. And then F times X. F is a frequency and X is a midpoint. So F times X. For example, number 1. Midpoint is 4.5 and frequency is 10. So F times X, 4.5 times 10 is 45. Okay, in the second class, 14.5 uh, frequency 20. So F times X is 14.5 times 20. The result is 290. Okay, same with the other class. So sigma FA is uh, 3160 7.5 what is sigma sigma is the total of the from the, the first class until the last class sigma fx so the total f times x and, uh, from the first class until the last class. if you have the value of midpoint and the sigma fx so you can calculate the mean of the group data. The formula is the mean of the group data is sigma f x divided by n. Okay. So you have the result is 27.5. This is mean class from the group data. And mod class or model class. Uh, it's very easy to find the model class you have identified with the class interval with the highest frequency okay. in the tabel the highest frequency is 40 okay. so the class interval with the highest frequency or the frequency 40 is 30 until 30 This is the extension from number two. I hope you understand. So it's time for question or exercise. You have to three exercise about probability and statistics. Number one, Funky here have export system of plotting the last week as specified in the following table. Okay. 
for batch number one, number of clothing item is 300. For number two, number of clothing item is 250. Uh, batch number three, number of clothing item is 270. Batch number four, number of clothing item 240. And the batch number five, number of clothing item is 220. And the last, number six, number of clothing item is 280. Okay, the question is, if clothing is selected at random, what is the probability that it, that it is from page 4 for number A, number B, page 6, and then the last three? This is a question for number one about experimental probability. For number two, complete each frequency distribution tabel. Okay. Same with the example for number two. Determine the mean and mode or model class for group data. So you must complete this tabel, and you and then you find the mean and model class. This is question for number three. Number three. A survey of 200 years gives students result in the following tabel negating their covering pressure the time activity there are five activities the first activity is playing sport the number of students is 50 the second activity is fishing the number of students is 26 the third activity is watching tv the number of students is 28 the activity the third activity is video games the number of students is 38 and the last activity is surfing. The number of students is 15. Uh, as a question for number A, determine the probability given as a percentage that a student select at random from this group will have surfing as a correlation activity. Okay? You must convert the probability in a percent from. Percentage from. Number B, if a student is interview at random. Find the probability that he or she will choose a feature at their favorite lesson activity. Okay. There are questions for number one and number two. number three. I hope you do the exercise. Do the exercise with correctly and honestly. Okay. Thank you for your attention. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.